This is the training section of lesson plans and training plans for lecturers at the Vikla Sera Vocational College, with the assistance of expert from the Materials and Production Sector Skills Council, Pearl Skills, the United Kingdom. The lecturers were provided knowledge, curriculum development methodology in accordance with the international standards, thereby improving the quality of vocational training for students. This activity is a part of training and consulting cooperation program between Viclasera Corporation and Pro Skills Council since 2014. Pro Skills is one of 21 sector skills councils in the United Kingdom. Sector skills councils are managed directly by the enterprises aiming to develop and train the workforce and ensure the high quality of laborers for members. With the experience of more than 20 years, the Sector Skills Council provides over solutions for enterprises from recruitment of skilled labor to the development of the internship and apprenticeship programs in the United Kingdom and many other countries. Sector Skills Council are still a new concept in Vietnam, being known through cooperation programs with enterprises and vocational training institutions. We'll learn more about this concept, as well as the benefits from the Sector Skills Council to improve the quality of vocational training in Vietnam through a conversation with Mr. Jonathan Letter, CEO of Pro Skills Council. Hello and welcome to Sharing Vietnam on VTC 10 Navit. I'm Long Yet. In our program today, we'll have a talk to Mr. Jonathan Letter, Chief Executive Officer of Pro Skills, a United Kingdom based sector skill council, and he will share about the topic of enhancing industry skills for Vietnamese laborers. Thank you, Mr. Jonathan Letters, for joining our program today. Do you think this council model, as well as its activities, will be suitable for Vietnamese laborers and companies? I think the model is definitely uh, usable here in Vietnam. I think there's a lot of potential for radical change in the way that the system works and the, the way employers work. Uh, I think for, for employees there's a huge benefit because it means they will have qualifications and training which allows them to learn on the job and to move between businesses much more easily than they do at the moment. The difficult part will be to get the employers involved in the first place and to work with the ministries to uh, increase understanding of employer engagement. So there will be some challenges, but actually it's a very exciting prospect because the end result will be that you have young people and mature people that are able to train at work and get the right kind of skills in a way that the industry needs. And I think that's the best bit about uh, the system. Can you share one of the examples of cooperation program between the UK-based Sector Skill Council and the Vietnamese Enterprises? We've been working with uh, the Viglasera Corporation and its vocational college uh, uh, and we are here to uh, do a whole piece of work around uh, labour market information, designing of new job standards, uh, developing curriculum, retraining the teachers and the assessment staff and delivering those programmes in a pilot so that by the end of the year we hope to be able to issue UK certificates as well as Vietnamese certificates for those people that achieve the good results. It has been a long challenge because uh, we, ha we speak a different language, we have a different culture, so we have to learn those things first as two organisations working together. But also we have to understand the context of Vietnam and how the, the UK expertise can be best used in Vietnam. What we don't do is we don't bring the UK to Vietnam and say you must do it the UK way. We bring the expertise and we try to fix it so that you have a Vietnamese system. So when I go home and our team goes home in a year's time, the capability is left behind to be able to deliver that partnership. It's a big programme. It will affect all of the Viglasera group. 
and already we are starting to see some real benefits uh, from that programme in terms of uh, health and safety for example, we've designed some health and safety standards and already all of the 40 odd divisions in the Viglicera group are starting to use those standards. So uh, company wide impact from a very small beginning. So it's, it's a really exciting programme, really comprehensive as well. Recently, the British Council, in collaboration with the Directorate General of Vocational Training, Ministry of Labour, Invalids and Social Affairs, held a seminar on the leading role of sector skills councils in developing labour skills. With the participation of representatives from Pro Skills Councils and Skills Council for Energy, EU Skills from the United Kingdom. This is the British Council's activities in order to link businesses and Directorate General of Vocational Training to set national skill standards. The workshop introduced the concept of sector skills council and evaluate the quality of vocational training in Vietnam in recent years. Despite having no official cooperation program in Vietnam, EU Skills Council has taken steps to approach the Vietnamese business to support vocational training on this occasion. I think we will support at three levels. I think we will support the government with how to think about running sector skills councils, what, what we would advise, what works, what doesn't work, so for the structure, for government and officials and those that are making those kind of decisions. We will work with specific industries, such as the electricity industry. So we're meeting with EVN tomorrow, and my colleague Clive will spend all week with them. And we will help them with the specific standards we've developed, because part of the programme is developing standards. And then I think the third area is around uh, sharing expertise and, and perhaps more economic partnerships. So I'd like to see Vietnamese companies with a kind of membership of energy and utility skills. Trong thời gian vừa qua chúng tôi tập trung vào hai mảng chính. Một mảng đầu tiên đó là về đảm bảo chất lượng trong hệ thống giáo dục dạy nghề của Việt Nam thông qua một hoạt động thông qua việc kết nối ba trường của Vương quốc Anh và chín trường trong hệ thống các trường xuất sắc của của Việt Nam để giúp cho họ xây dựng những cái công cụ cũng như là cái hệ thống về đảm bảo nghề đảm bảo chất lượng trong hệ thống giáo dục dạy nghề. Điểm thứ hai nữa là chúng tôi cũng muốn và giới thiệu cái mô hình về hội đồng ngành nơi mà vai trò của người bên sử dụng lao động đóng một vai trò rất là quan trọng về đóng góp về xây dựng kỹ năng cho người lao động. Về hội đồng ngành đòi hỏi cái sự cam kết và sự tham gia cực rất là mạnh mẽ từ phía các doanh nghiệp bởi vì doanh nghiệp sẽ là cái thành tố quan trọng để giúp cung cấp các nhu cầu các cái thông tin về thị trường lao động. According to the recent evaluation of the World Bank, the quality of Vietnamese human resources rank 11th out of 12 countries surveyed in Asia. Vietnamese laborers are rated as poor in quality and low in productivity. Training programs are not tied to the needs of businesses as well as international standards. Out of total more than 53.4 million laborers aged 15 and older that are working, only 49% of them are trained properly. From this situation, Vietnam needs to implement structural reform of vocational training system based on the national qualifications framework. Moreover, Vietnam needs to promote international cooperation to develop vocational training consistent with regional and international trends opening up new opportunities for laborers under the context of global integration. From these very first cooperation programs, can you share more about the advantages and disadvantages to apply this council model in supporting and upgrading the vocational training in Vietnam? I think advantages are that the education system in general and the employer education system, they work closer together because the curriculum that is built is built around industry requirements and industry standards, whereas 
what generally happens is the ministries will design the curriculum without employers and then employers say, oh, this doesn't do quite what we need today in this industry, in this environment. So industry takes all of that responsibility and that's a good thing because that drives the economy. It also allows young people that are not so good with education um, to, to learn practical skills and to add value to society. So they can go to an employer, train that on the job, and then they can get paid for that training at the same time, and that makes them feel happy and the employer gets new staff. I don't think there are any real disadvantages, I think there are more challenges. So for example, what we have in the UK is a system whereby the um, vocational training and the academic training sit side by side and you can move from vocational training to college to come back to vocational training to university and you can move as many times as you'd like between the two they are one system here in Vietnam at the moment it's not like that so there'd be a challenge to line up those two systems to allow that flexibility to move between academic and vocational well, Vietnamese laborers are facing a very promising chance, especially when the AEC, ASEAN Economic Community, will be established by the end of 2015. So, what will the sectoral skill councils will support Vietnamese laborers to take that chance? It's interesting that you ask that question. The ASEAN question, the, the big regional question, is always about the mobility of labour and the recognition of labour in other countries as well as people coming into the country. As part of our work with Viglasera, we are mapping all of the work that we do with Viglasera and with the Vietnamese into the ASEAN reference framework so that people when they achieve the qualification that will actually be valid in other countries as well in that region. And I think that kind of mobility is really important because there is already a lot of people moving between you know, China, Thailand, Vietnam, so all these countries are already moving around. What we're giving them is a mechanism to do so and a way to measure against the Chinese system or against the, the Thai system or the Malaysian system. It will come together as one system. And I think that's a really good thing because you end up with a national system of vocational education that allows international movement, which has to be a good thing. Can you share about the future activities of the UK-based Sector Skill Castle in enhancing Vietnamese labor's quality and upgrading the vocational training? What we're now doing with Viglaser is expanding very quickly. So we have three, three, three pieces of work. One is already underway and been working for a year. Recently, we've added two new pieces to that. So with Viglasera, we're going to be working on leadership and management. We're going to be working on some technical uh, concrete, so to do with construction industry, and also real estate and uh, uh, sales uh, for the real estate. And another programme which is to help develop level six, seven and eight in terms of higher education for the glass and the ceramics and the granite industries that we work with through Viglasera. So two completely different pieces of work, one at a much higher level and one covering some new areas. And this will probably mean that we continue to work with Viglasera for three or four more years. Already our work has expanded, that means they can do more. And our relationship is much better because the longer we are here, the more we understand the Vietnamese way of life and the more we understand the context and the more we are able to actually contribute to that development. So it's a real fantastic opportunity. And, and I think the industry in Vietnam needs to to take a look at that model that we operate and see if they can use a similar kind of model because in the UK we have 21 sector skills councils that cover 85% of industry, so very big coverage of UK industry and that expertise could be used to enable Vietnam to get to the same uh, place and enjoy the same benefits that we have for 20 years from that system in the UK. So it's a very exciting time and there are lots of opportunities. Thank you Mr Jonathan Latcher for your sharing. And that is also the end of our program Sharing Vietnam. For comments and feedbacks, please send it to sharingvietnam at netviettv.net. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow.